What's your forte? Thank you, fellow Toastmasters and honored guests and new member. No doubt you've seen this running up and down the lines, especially lately. It is a jersey from Mr. Forte. Now, let me figure out to put this up here. <clears throat> Everybody has a forte. Everybody has a gift. You look at all the things around you and you see what that gift is. Now, the easiest way to think of this is Mr. Potato Head. He has this big head on him and he has the eyes, he has ears, he has hands, he has feet, he has a head. So, if you were to look at that and say, where are you? What piece of Mr. Potato Head are you? That's your forte. Maybe you have ears that can hear people a lot better than others. Maybe your words can speak and speak with clarity so everyone can hear exactly what you're saying and know how to say it. Maybe you're the one that has handy with your hands. You're a carpenter. You're a, a, a pounder. Hey, you can do that. Maybe it's your feet. Maybe you can go the distance. Like Michelle was talking about running, or going for something that needs to be gotten. Everybody's got to be able to go. So everyone has a gift. Now, the ideas of, of some of these gifts are expressed in Tom Rath's book called Strength Finders. This is a very dedicated discovery tool makes you find what are your special gifts. I took the test. I found out spice is my gift. I am strategic. I am positive. I am ideation, which means I can think a lot. I am connected, which means I connect different things together. And the last one is empathy. Those are my five gifts that I have. Think of what gifts you have. You can take that test and find out for yourself. Tom Rath, and that was from the Gallup poll. The hardest part about having a gift, though, is knowing when to use it and how to use it. Now, I have this little chart here. It's sort of esoterically an, a diagram of what a, a horoscope is and where the different signs are, is where each of these things come together. There's an Aries there. He begins things. He gets things going. Like Michelle was saying, you got to have a go. A go person. The next one is a Taurus. He anchors things. He builds foundations. You've got to have a foundation for your idea. No matter where you're going to go, you have to have that foundation. The next one is the PR person. The Gemini. He's going to talk your head off. But he's going to get the idea across to everybody. You have to have feelings about this, this thing you're going to do. Otherwise, it doesn't get done. There's leadership. Everybody has to have a leader. Somebody that knows where the thing is going, carries it out. you got to be fed. you got to feed that idea. Continue to feed it. Know what to feed it, the good stuff, and leave the bad stuff out. you got to have harmony with a leaper. That's the harmony. You harmonize with all the people in your group and make sure things are moving smoothly. You've got to protect the idea. Copyrights, other things like that. That's what's done by the Scorpio person. He also kills things off that don't really need to be around. You go to the Sagittarius. He's the one that wants to know that the big image is going in the right direction from above and from below. You gotta have supervisors. This, the Capricorns are natural supervisors. They know what needs to be done. They're people who are really strategic. They know what needs to be done, when it needs to be done, and get some people to do it. But eventually, somebody has to look at it over one more time and say, is there enough freedom in this? Or do we throw out 
the whole thing and start all over with another person dreaming a new dream and bringing up some new compassion into that whole new dream. So, when you think of Forte and you think of the things he's doing, you've got to remember that what happens if you don't use that gift? Have any of you still got your gifts left over from Christmas that you haven't unwrapped? Think about it. What's the worst thing about this whole bad weather situation we've had lately? It's those crops that were left in the field that were never harvested. They're going rotten. It's the same thing for every one of you. So I'm asking you, what part of it are you going to play? Where is your gift? Where is your, your forte? We you think of the one thing you need to do all this stuff is what is the grease that makes this thing go around? What oils this thing? It's communication. It's what we're all about here at Toastmasters. You've got to be able to communicate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be Mr. Forte, pass the ball off to you, because you need to be carrying this ball forward and find out what your gifts are and start putting those to use. There's no thing worse than at the end of the game finding some of your gifts haven't been used. And it's the end of the game. What are you going to do? Catch the ball. Catch the ball. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now let's go. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Ray.